Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about how to gain power powder the best way, how to optimize uh, your power powder usage, and just how to manage it overall. Um, I felt like this was important to talk about because it's kind of similar to like um, how to gain the 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 most uh, resources the best way uh, because of the new update coming, the heroes and all that stuff. Uh, always good to go over some power powder tips and tricks, guys. But First, we have this in the storage, guys. So we have a bit of a, a statue storage dilemma. Um, I actually, this morning, got this extra power stone chance, and I figured I'd throw it in there because whenever the update... Oh, whenever the update does come... Um, sorry, we just had a little uh, chicken... Uh, chicken uh, dropping the iPad on himself there, instant. But um, I just got this power stone chance statue this morning, so I got rid of uh, a troop damage 12% that I had in there, which was basically useless. Like I'm I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to put out a 12%. Um, but um, so what, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get rid of this troop health because I also don't need that, uh, except maybe for the next Mega Crab. But um, I think the GBE is going to be more beneficial. I haven't had a 17% GBE in a very long time. So um, kind of excited about that, kind of excited guys. And uh, yeah, there's the statue storage currently, lots of power stone chances. I've had that resource reward in there for a very long time. So hopefully we can get that, um, we can get that out quickly. Um, hopefully we actually need it for the update that's coming. And I want to talk a little bit about the update too, but first let's get into some general tips for, um, for how to uh, like maintain and uh, spend your power powder in the best way. Because uh, I wanted to talk about this kind of because I was, uh, when I initially put out my Power Stone Chance, uh, my whole point of it was just to gain um, Power Powder and not necessarily um, make better statues. Now, I think the best time to use Power Stone Chance is going to be more so to build perfect statues as opposed to, um, as opposed to using it uh, for the sake of getting Power Powder. So you're going to get uh, a lot more stones with a Power Stone Chance, obviously. Um, it's, it's, it's not an insane amount by any means, but if, if you're going to say like, I, I, like, I know a lot of people boost their power stone chance for, uh, Dr. Terrence, and I think a better reason to do that instead of doing that and expecting to get like a ton of crystals and like turn those into, into quick powder, um, it's going to be more so doing that for the sake of saying you, you're like Mr. Poing and you have like a 20% GBE masterpiece and you need a better, um, and you, and you need a better one, um, you're, you're going to make, how do I say this? Um, it, it's going to be just a better way to get specific statues opposed to actually getting power powder. Like, especially if you're boosting it all the time, you're going to get more uh, statues than you would actually power powder out of it, if that makes sense. Um, it's just going to be the better way to do it, uh, in my opinion. So, holy jeez, we're not we're not making like a lick of sense today. Like, what what is going on, guys? What is going on? I'm just stumbling over the words here. None of the thoughts are going together. I'm just kind of like just saying like words, I guess. And they're just like coming out and doing different things. Um, so what I was trying to say, you can't really get them in game. Like, of course you can get the, the resources in game, Jake. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the hell are you talking about? Um, you can't get power, power stones with, with diamonds, right? So I, I think I was trying to say something along those lines, guys. I'm going to stop trying to sound smart because it's backfiring, like, very hard on the chicken today. Um, so the the cliff notes of the of the video is do the different stuff that uh, that has different impacts on uh, several different things at uh, at different times. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to go. That's what we're going to go with today, guys. Okay, so we got the Rifeman loaded up, and you guys let me know, you were really awesome in the comments yesterday, uh, that I need to start using Rifleman like they were Zooka. So let's just exactly try that out. Um, I think Rifleman are pretty hard to get a hold of in the smoke, maybe by calling them too and texting them. They might be bad at answering texts and stuff, I'm not too sure on, uh, on that. Alright, so we're smoking on up with the rifles, guys. They seem to be somewhat staying in line. I don't, I don't know. Do they flare like Zookas? Do we have to do a double smoke like this? Um, I feel like they're not going to do very much damage here, but uh, I guess we will see. They're probably going to lose a couple there stepping out in the smoke. Um, all right, so one, two, three, four. Um, it's actually kind of working. Wow, that was surprising. I, I did not expect it to go that well. Okay, so rifleman equals Zookas. Uh, the more you know with the chicken. Bang, bang, bang. Alrighty, so let's see if we can do that on stage 7. We got the double crystal there and an intel, guys. Pretty excellent reward. 
uh, for Dr. Terrence. And let's go ahead, let's do a little hashtag chicken scout here. Now, I know we don't normally do uh, scouts on this channel, and we're kind of against scouting in general. It's, um, it's, uh, it's a thing. So, um, what, what do we see on this base? Not really a whole lot of anything. I mean, I'll take out this machine gun, I think, and then just move right up there in the center. And yeah, so I'll, we might as well try to take out a couple player bases now that we know how to use rifleman, kind of. Um, depending on how this goes, I guess we shouldn't get too hashtag chicken excited after uh, after some of the, how some of these rifle attacks have been going here. So uh, hopefully we can clear some of the mines there. I think I just wiped on that uh, barrage, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll launch out the rifleman like this, and then I'll smoke them up like that. Uh, I'm gonna have to flare them in because they're going to get a little, a little finicky on us. A little finicky, a little hashtag chicken finicky. So we'll go with something like bang bang. Uh, that's the rifleman triangle smoke guys. And I guess they actually do a pretty good amount of damage when they're all grouped up together like this. Um, I don't have to worry about anything behind me. It's just basically this stuff. Um, we'll throw out some med kits and say a little quick prayer for the chicken guys but i think we're gonna have no problems taking down stage seven okay okay we, we struggled mightily on yesterday's or two days ago the previous dr terrence that we did with all riflemen we struggled like a lot but now that we've got this new uh we got this new chicken strategy going i think i say we take on largo this guy i've tried to take on for like it seems like months, but uh, now that the riflemen are going up, let's uh, let's see what we can get done here. Um, all right, so this is what we're gonna do here, guys. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the reverse rifleman, very advanced tactic, very advanced. Um, definitely don't try this, um, probably at all. But uh, definitely don't do this on your uh, like without doing a friendly challenge or practicing it first. Uh, extremely advanced um, movement patterns um, will be put into place here. Okay, so we got the rifleman up like that. So let's get him up like here. And we're going to smoke something like this. That rocket is kind of going a little crazy, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to flare them up over into here. Now, can we get them to all kind of ride the hashtag chicken rifleman wave over something like this i'm liking how this is looking i'm liking how this is looking a lot um now how close do they stand when i flare onto the hq way too close okay okay so we know that we know they flare too close and that's the raid okay one two three hmm well, I mean, the idea was there. The idea was there, right? It's all about just being... We actually almost took it down. We almost took it down, guys. Um, I say we try this again here. That was freaking close. If that hot pot wasn't there, we might have actually finished it. So we'll, we'll take a chicken breath, and we'll dive right on back into that one, guys. We'll dive right on back into that one. 16 diamonds. I mean, that's basically nothing. Um, so what should we do differently here? What should we do differently? We just got to flare them closer. That was the only problem. Um... If we only hit one mine, that's okay. Um, Alright, so how do we want to do this? Instead of flaring them down, since that didn't really do anything, I'm just going to flare them like that. Uh, maybe it did do something, actually. Uh, okay, so we'll flare them up like this. And then right about here. And then we'll put the smoke down like that. And we have quite the snake trail of riflemen on us, but that's okay. Um, next we'll go up right into here between that hot pod and I think this is gonna work um, a little bit better or worse guys or worse okay so we have most of the riflemen there smoke across back 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 we'll lock on to the HQ right here HQ is locked on to I'm gonna have to shock about half of the riflemen that should be okay one, two, uh, three. Hmm. What, what do you think, guys? I think when, once that hot power comes up, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, my God. We actually did it. Wow. I was not expecting that. Um, 
they actually seem really good. I'm very surprised at how like amazing the the rifleman turned out to be. Uh, maybe I gotta start using that a little more often. If they were easier to flare, I mean, maybe there's a new uh, new OP strategy in the game. So that's gonna wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to let me know down in the comments uh, any tips or tricks that you guys use to um, manage your power powder and actually gain power powder. Because I'm right at, I'm sitting right at about uh, 100, right on the edge of it. I got a couple masterpieces ready to almost ready to go here. Um, so yeah, any tips and tricks? Um, let me know that down in the comments, guys. I'm gonna keep playing around with the with the, this new like rifleman zooka strategy. So definitely big shout out to whoever said that in the comments. I think it was a lot of people, but uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like, fan, interesting, entertaining, or informative, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Check it out.